Okay, today I am going to explain to you what is a solar system. Now, a solar system is basically like a family. So just like in a family, you would have the father or let me call it the head of family. Right? It could be father, it could be grandfather or anyone. So maybe, I'll just circle this. And then there are various members in the family. Okay? Not in any particular order. I'm just framing them. So let's say there's a large family which is there. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight family members. Right? So basically, what is happening is that this is an extended family. Now each of the family member, let's say for example, in your case, if it's the father and let's say these are the eight children, right? Each of these children, as they get married, right, they would have their own wife, right, or husband, as the case may be, for the female members. Let's keep it as, like this, right? Now consider a solar system. A solar system is something similar to this kind of a family where the head of the family that we spoke about is nothing but the son, right? And these eight family members that I spoke here are nothing but the planets, right? And each planet may, I mean it's not necessary, just like I said that one of the members has a wife, each family member may have his or her own satellite. Right? And then, just like in a family, you have some other relatives or some other people that you know around. There are other celestial bodies, as we call them. Now, I'll come to you, come back in respect of each one of these. So, in a solar system, what you have is basically the sun plus the eight planets right plus the satellites and when I say satellites again I'm talking of the natural satellites which are there when we talk about satellites in a separate video I will also tell you that there are certain man-made satellites as well but that is not the one that we are talking about over here these are basically the companions if I may call it okay of various planets. Where are the planets? Here is the planet. This was one of the planet, right? The companion is here, right? These are the companions and these move around the solar family, right? These move around, not only, sorry, not the solar family, these move around the planet. Now I've drafted these planets in smaller sizes, something which seems equal, but there is a large amount of difference in the size of each one of them. So what happens is that the head of the family or the son, sorry, not the son, the father, that we talk about here, actually binds all these eight planets together. So there's a force which is exercised by the family head, by the father, the grandfather, just like, you know, they have the authority. It's the son which has the authority here, which binds all these planets together. Right? And together they form a solar system. In addition, there are certain other celestial bodies. And these celestial bodies are something like an asteroid or a meteoroid. We'll have separate videos to explain you the concept around these as well. But together, entirely, they form a solar system. Right? So what is the relation between the sun and the planets, or the father and these children, if I may call it. 
So what happens is that if each one of these planets keeps on revolving around the sun, right? So if I talk about the second one, it will also keep on rotating around the sun and they keep on doing this on a continuous basis, right? So each one of them keeps on rotating around the sun. Now depending on the distance that they have vis-a-vis -vis the sun, the number of days that they take to complete one revolution around the sun, right, is different. If we talk about our planet, the planet Earth where we live, this is what we are talking about or this is what we are looking at. The planet Earth is the third at distance from the Sun. So first is this one, second is this one, and third is the Earth. Right? It keeps on revolving around the Sun. Right? And the path, this path, the path which they take, each of the planet take, while it is revolving around the Sun, is known as its orbit. Right? Now what is the work of the satellite? The sat work of the satellite is it is going to keep on revolving around the planet. So let's say if for this particular planet this is the satellite, the satellite is going to revolve around this planet just like the planet revolves around the sun. Right? So three things to know. This entire solar system or the solar family comprises of the sun, and the eight planets. These planets are basically, if I talk them, talk about them in terms of their names, it's Mercury. This is according to the distance. So the first one is Mercury, second is Venus, third is Earth, fourth is Mars, fifth is Jupiter, sixth is Saturn, seventh is Uranus, and eighth is Neptune. There was another one which used to be Pluto, which was the ninth planet which was considered a part of the solar system, but this has been removed since 2006. So effectively when I went to my classroom, I was told that there are nine planets which form part of our solar system. But now, as you are dealing with it, there are eight planets. Right? So I hope you would have understood this particular stuff. If there are any questions, please do write them down. Thank you for being with us today.